time. It's time to jump into the Metro Atlanta real estate market update. How is the market? How has the market been performing January, February, and March? Let's do a quick rundown of the market. In the month of March alone, there were 6,300 closings for the month, which is only a decrease of 2% over March of last year. Not surprising. I think we knew March the 12th, 13th, or 14th that we were going to have a crisis. Things started closing down. Uh, toward the end of March. And a lot of the closings that took place in the month of March uh, were on the books before then. But we did have a decrease of 2%. Single uh, Townhomes and condos, by the way, those were single family detached homes. Those are the ones that are not condos and townhomes. The condos and townhomes, there were 1,331 closings of condos and townhomes in Metro Atlanta in March of 2020, which is an increase of 4% over March of 2019. Average sales price for the month, $332,000 for our detached units, not the condos and townhomes, which is a 4.7% increase over March of 2019. Condos and townhomes, average sales price $289,500, which is an increase of 9.8%. I remember Atlanta when those average sales prices for the condos and townhomes was about $165,000 in the middle of the Great Recession. It's amazing how much we have improved year to date. 16,100 single-family detached closings, an increase of 8% over the prior year. Condos and townhomes, we've had 3,500 condo and townhome closings this year, an increase of 12% over the same period in 2019. Average sales price year to date, 321200 for the single-family detached, which is an increase of 5% over last year. The condos, condos and townhomes year to date, average sales price 281000 which is an increase of 6% over the first quarter of 2019. Currently, there are 16,361 active listings on the market in Metro Atlanta, which is a decrease of 8% over the prior year. For those of you who listen to the show regularly, you know that months of inventory is very important. So as we see inventory go down, and I assume it's going down somewhat because of the coronavirus scare, that tends to keep the market in balance. So inventory decreasing is not necessarily a bad thing. In, con in terms of condos and townhomes, there were 3,700, 3,600 of those available for sale at the end of March, which is an increase of 11% over the same period uh, in the prior year. So the reality is, guys, that there's still lots of things happening in Metro Atlanta. I noticed there was 1,700 new listings in Metro Atlanta last week. I think there was 13 or 1,400 closings. I'm not telling if you're listening to the show that you need to move forward buying or selling a house because you need to be conscientious about being careful uh, during this time, but there are some people whose lives just move on. Uh, they need to relocate. They need to upsize, downsize. They're transferring for a job or uh, a military relocation, or they're having a family, or they're uh, downsizing or upsizing, or getting married or getting a divorce. And those types of life changes don't stop just because of the coronavirus.